Team Gaming here, welcome back to the channel. Glad to see you guys stopped by to check out the content. And today's video is talking a little bit more about hockey jerseys. Now, if you guys are just wondering, like, the different fabrics of, like, over time with these hockey jerseys and just the little things that uh, they changed over the course of jersey design for teams. So we're going to start off with Reebok, the old, old friend of us, of us consumers who are buying hockey jerseys. So we're just going to dive right into it. So... Reebok, their main fabric of choice for these jer for these jerseys is like this mesh fabric. I'm pretty sure every jersey uh, has a certain mesh fabric. That's kind of like the go ahead, like the the uh, default design for jerseys. And so we have that. And these uh, numbers feel kind of like, especially on these ones. These ones feel like they've been like heat pressed, but they're not heat pressed, if that makes sense. These uh, have uh, been stitched on. Just to, just to tell you like how like how do you know if these things have been stitched? Just to look inside of the jersey, you see the, like, the outline of the numbers and name that are on the jersey. Now, I'm not sure if Reebok made a deal with uh, stores who want to like, have their jerseys be uh on display at certain stores versus the uh store inside of the uh arena where the nhl players would play uh but it could be me because these two well this one was bought in the staples center this one was bought in a uh, local store in fargo north dakota and this one was bought in the xl energy center so these two are both stadium bought. This one's store bought. And like this is like some pretty heavy duty for like material. It's like it's like op almost hoping like holding up a thick piece of paper, like construction paper. It kind of feels like that. And the same thing with a uh, nameplate, I should say. Is uh it feels like you're holding like a big freaking well, rectangle piece of construction paper. Um so like like this, like, you could probably tell it's like heavy duty. I love that glare on that. Like, this versus this, it's like more flexible versus this. It could be just like the type of fabric they use for the numbers and name. But that's just also another thing that uh, the Reebok jerseys had. And it's kind of the same thing with the... Uh, Adidas jersey I'm kind of slowly transitioning into Adidas. Now, this is kind of like pretty tough. If you guys can probably visually see that. But this is like mix. Like this is kind of like this, but not as durable or as flexible as that Jeff Carter. It's the same thing with the Taze here. I'll just bring it down. It's kind of the same thing. You know, it's like kind of flexible, you know, this. And this is kind of like, you know, it's kind of durable. It's like something you would wear and not expect the jersey to be like, like, filled with like dents or whatever from folding. Now this, this is also stitched material. This, the numbers are stitched. Just to see that the numbers are stitched. There's that. And one thing that the Adidas jerseys had that the Reebok jerseys didn't which I do think this is probably the reason why these jerseys are so expensive. The last time I checked, the Adidas jerseys were about $225 without any type of sales or whatever. Or if you get like a free shipping and that's just that's just a regular cost for a jersey. So this is like part Velcro, part button, as you guys can see here. You like hook this up to your pants and you're ready to go, the fight strap. Would I, I could probably see this being like a controversial matter of like, why would Adidas have this on it if we're just gonna be wearing it just for the games, but not participating in a hockey game, or whatever, just going out there to witness it. Why would a customer would want to have that is way beyond me. That's a, a question that Adidas has to answer or something like that. But we're going with, again, the, the mesh fabric. This is like, this is like not as fine mesh. The, the sun actually kind of helps. 
it's not like it's it's soft but as you guys can see the holes are just a bit big and compared to this this is like a little bit more fine fine mesh and uh some jerseys are different but this is what i see i i, I can be like a little bit biased as what i'm talking about the adidas jerseys because i only have one so enough said with that now we head on to the fanatics jerseys and the uh the cheaper brother of uh the adidas jerseys now these jerseys can be a little bit weird what i mean by weird is some of these jerseys might have uh, a heat pressed like fully heat press logo for their you know their main logo as like this this is like a this is like one piece there's there's like the only stitching that you'll see is just around like the outline of the logo this is the winnipeg jets uh, alternate jersey the reason to tell if it's uh stitch is just to go look inside the, the jersey itself now here's what the number is this is a patrick line a just to see right there uh there's no stitching here it's all heat pressed so this is probably where the like the price comes down to is this um it's 100 percent heat press you know there's no number in there numbers right there uh it's all heat pressed no no stitching whatever uh and that's this is the uh winnipeg jets alternate jersey fanatics now this one has just a bit more well, I guess, you know, to match up the uh, the glitter effect for their logo is to only put in what they would have on here. So it feels kind of like this. But this is just like the same material. This is a little bit different. But this material here is the same thing as this. The stitching all around the logo. Same thing with, uh, with these. So, uh, all heat press jerseys just to make sure if it is stitched this is a 71 william carlson and yes see numbers right here mm, this is all heat press except for the logo itself now if they were going to do this uh i could probably like if they were to do kind of like what they did with this part uh here so let me better explain that. So right I have here, I dug out the Dallas Stars jersey. Fanatics, that is. And same thing, it's all stitching right here. But then like they come to the glitter effect. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is only for jerseys who have like, this glitter effect. I mean, it's similar to the Wild with this, with their like moon, like their moon thing, kind of like this. So I've just been like going off so far. I am just... I feel like I'm just mumbling right now. Just talk about certain things that I'm seeing on these jerseys. One thing is like the vents. is something I didn't really catch up on when I was talking about these jerseys. Is that there is vents for these jerseys. So like for the player, when he's going up and down the ice, he's getting hot. He is just working up a sweat. And uh, this is some like lighter material for a Reebok jersey right here. This kind of feels like the same fabric as what they used for these. I mean, this is some light. Uh, compare this to their Adidas counterpart. Adidas is a little bit more heavy material than this. This is like something you would wear out in a hot day. Say like 75 degree weather, you would wear this and you would not feel anything but just cool breeze. So I think that's all I touched up on. This is like a video mostly talking about design. For these uh, jerseys going over the times with Reebok, Adidas, and Fanatics. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it like you did. If you guys want to see more hockey jersey videos of mine, please comment down below and ask me what kind of jersey video that I would like, that you would like me to make. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it like if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Whatever makes stay awesome. Stay awesome. Have a good one.